Hey guys, welcome back to another vSim Suite tutorial video. My name is Tony Ganyan, and I'm the North American Ford Gas Sales Manager here at HP Tuners. Today we're talking about everything histograms. So in creating a histogram, one of the things we're doing is we're using the axes, the X and Y axes, to put the data in for something we're data logging, whether it's knock retard or spark or from our VE table or even our mass airflow table. Histograms are very important in your data logging process. It makes your life a lot easier if you technically use it correctly. And that is by taking the data, copy the data correctly, filter it correctly, and then you apply it to your editor. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to do a little histogram magic today. And we're gonna use our bench to do this. We have a, a data log from a vehicle. And we also are going to set up uh, a short-term field trim. So you can copy and paste in your field trim data back to your master transfer function. So the first thing we do is actually talk about why we need this. So you can look at your fuel trims and you can pretty much gauge it by percentage when you're doing this, but it's a lot easier just to data log across the whole spectrum of your master transfer function and then you can copy and paste it in. And that's a whole lot easier way to do it, plus it's a more precise way to do it as well. One caveat to that is, is if it's just filled in certain areas, you want to make sure that you average the other areas as well. And what I mean by that is if you're seeing a, like a a 15% difference. If you split the difference into seven and a half and you add that into it or add that to it at that point, it's going to be a lot easier to get to your target without overshooting it. Let's go ahead and build a short term fuel trim master transfer function, copy and paste histogram. So the first thing we do is we're going to go in, into our graphs. We're going to go to graphs layout. We're going to go ahead, we're going to add one. So we're going to add the table. Here we go. So we're going to basically going to pick the PID that we want to pick in this case is a short term fuel trim. So we type that in, double click on it, accept it. So I'm going to name this as our master transfer function data. All right, I'll save that. I'm going to put on there for the percentage as a point. I'm going to say I want at least three hits required, which I'll explain in a little bit. And then I'm going to put the pluses and minuses of them actually the amount. So I'm going to put, we'll say uh, 30 here, and I'm going to put negative 30 here. And I can do this in colors. So I'll do this one as our red, and I'll do this as our green. And then you'll see what happens when I bring this up in a minute. Now I do have to add one more thing. I have to add in the actual master transfer function period. So we're going to click on this. Notice I clicked the little gear symbol with the plus. That brings up only the things available in the PCM. So I'm gonna type in math. And if you see right there, I have a master transfer period. I'll double click on that. And then I need to put the numbers in for it. So where do I get the numbers from? I go to the file. I would come over here and I'll take and just go to my, it's a, a row axis. I'll copy it. And then I would put that in here. At that point in time, everything's built. We can see our average. I can put max here if I want. Uh, I can uncheck the zoom setting on it. And one decimal point out with three. Now we'll take a look at what this looks like without the filter, with the filtering at three. So you can see on the bottom, as you start filling in, we've got our pluses and minuses from our master transfer function. Now the easiest way to do this is you just click up here and you can control C, copy it, and you can put in your master transfer function and then smooth it out from there. But I want to look at the actual filtering to see what this looks like. So because I had to filter on three, I'm going to go in there and change that filtering to one just to see. You notice there's a lot more populated in here because it had at least one time that it was hit instead of making it three. So your filtering helps filter out any garbage data, but it also helps you see that if we take those number there, it pretty much averages. You notice one that says negative 14. That one could be a little out to lunch. That's why we do half. We can go back in there and smooth it from there. That basically is creating a master transfer short-term fuel trim data from our master period to collectively correct our air fuel ratio. Okay, using that calculation, it's very easy to do your master transfer function and dial it in correctly. And you can do this on multiple vehicles. You can do this on any type of vehicle with a master transfer function. As long as you use a master pounce a minute or a master plans from a period, you can use this. It works like a champ. Saves you a lot of time and hassle when you tune in a vehicle. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a better grasp on histograms. If you have any questions, please comment below so we can help you out. We also have plenty of resources linked in the description to check out too. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content and we'll see you in the next video.